This video will walk you through the CalPERS website and show you where to find open enrollment information and resources. We'll start on the home page of our website, www.calpers.ca.gov. We'll walk through the employer resources first. From here, we'll click on the Employers tab and select Learn About Health Plan Open Enrollment from the I Want To section. This is your dedicated page where you can access all the information you need to know about open enrollment. Here, you will see the open enrollment dates and your deadline for processing your employee's open enrollment transactions. Employer bulletins are the primary way we communicate open enrollment updates to you. By clicking this link, you go to the page where you can enter your email address to subscribe. Enter your email address here and you'll begin receiving all of the employer bulletins sent by CalPERS. So now let's go back to the open enrollment page. Here we have a link to the annual health plan changes webpage. By clicking this link, you'll be able to go to the annual health plan changes webpage. You'll see here a matrix that highlights health plan changes for 2024. It's in alphabetical order by plan and provides a brief summary of significant changes effective January 1st, 2024. The information is broken out into three tables. First, changes that impact HMO and EPO plans. Second, changes that impact PPO plans. And third, changes that impact Medicare plans. Now back on the Open Enrollment for Employers webpage. We have included information regarding dental and vision benefits for those who are enrolled in State of California and California State University sponsored dental and vision plans. By clicking here, you'll be able to go to the dental and vision webpage. You'll see that the open enrollment dates for those who enrolled in the state of California, California State University sponsored dental and vision plans align with CalPERS Health open enrollment. Below that, we have dental and vision information split by active and retirees. The information is broken into two tables for both active and retirees, one for dental and the other for vision benefits. Both tables inform members who to contact for enrollment and who their benefit administrator is. Let's jump back to the Open Enrollment for Employers webpage. Here we have information regarding the Open Enrollment Employer webinar, including the registration link and key topics for the presentation. Next, we have information on partnering with the CalPERS Health Plans to host a virtual or on-site open enrollment fair. Health plans began holding virtual and on-site open enrollment fairs September 5th. These will be held through the end of open enrollment. Then you'll see the gifts and literature policy that health plans must follow for health fairs. In our important open enrollment communication section, you can see what your employees can do during open enrollment. We ask you to encourage your employees to make changes via their MyCalPERS account if you participate in online health enrollments. If an employee isn't making changes to their coverage, no action is needed. Below that, you'll find open enrollment resources available to you and your employees, such as information from MyCalPERS and a link to online health enrollments webpage. Also, you find information about our new health and wellness programs by Health Plan webpage. Encourage your employees to use this webpage to explore wellness resources offered by our health plans to improve their health and well being, little to no cost to them. We have linked to the Plans and Rates webpage for you to view a list of all health plans in the CalPERS health program along with the monthly premium rates and COBRA premium rates and information on the health plan statement. Here's a sample email and a link to the open enrollment flyer, which is intended to assist you in communicating open enrollment information to your employees. You can also find quick links to publications and information on viewing and printing them if needed. 
Next, we have information regarding the open enrollment member letters that were sent to members affected by significant health plan changes in late August. You can find samples of these letters here so you can easily refer to information that was sent out to your employees. Next, we have the instructor-led in virtual classes for health business rules section. This section provides a link to the employer training classes. These instructor-led and virtual classes assist with increasing your understanding of eligibility and enrollment requirements, health plan options, health benefits into retirement, and the best way to manage resources. What you'll see next is the employer roles and responsibility section. This is a very comprehensive section designed to provide guidance and link to resources that will help you fulfill your roles and responsibilities as the health benefit officer and support your employees during open enrollment. We explain what the health benefit officer role is. Provide reminders on verifying and maintaining supporting documentation for eligible dependents and give you information on submitting and approving transactions through my helpers. The deadline for processing all open enrollment transactions is 11.59 p.m. Pacific time on Friday, November 3rd, 2023. As a reminder, you are responsible for submitting transactions for former employees or their dependents enrolled in COBRA continuation coverage who want to change health plans or add slash delete eligible dependents. Also, you are responsible for submitting transactions during open enrollment for employees on a leave of absence who want to change plans or add slash delete dependents. Here you can find information regarding rescinding transactions and cutoff dates. Below that we have important health enrollment reminders. And here we have frequently asked questions that we've received throughout the year. And lastly, we have quick tip videos you can share with your employees to watch when they are shopping for a plan that's right for them. Now we'll scroll back up to the top. Let's bring your attention to the right hand side of the page. Here we have quick links to much of the information we just reviewed. However, I wanted to cover a couple of things in a bit more detail. On the plans and rates page, you'll find the full listing of health plans and premiums. This information is organized by employer type. For the state and CSU, you'll see the premium for those members as well as the employer contribution amounts on this page. Then, for public agencies and schools, the premiums by region are seen here. This also includes association and out-of-state premiums. Next, we have the contact information for each plan and links to view the evidence of coverage, which will be available by September 18th. Then, let's scroll to the Forms and Publications section. You'll find the health benefit summary I also mentioned earlier, which provides a general overview of benefits, co-pays, and service areas for each plan. This is the current health benefit summary. The 2024 version will be available and linked here by September 11th. Now we'll move along to the dedicated open enrollment page for active members. You can get there by using the link on the right hand side or from the home page by selecting learn about health plan open enrollment under the I want to section, just as we did on the employer tab and then selecting active members. Similar to the active member webpage, we also have a dedicated webpage for retirees, which can be accessed by clicking the open enrollment for retirees link at the top of the page. The active member page has many of the same features as the employer page like the open enrollment dates 
and a link to the annual health plan changes webpage to see detailed information on changes for 2024. We also link over to the Dental and Vision webpage where we provide information on Dental and Vision open enrollment. In the Prepare for Open Enrollment section, we inform your employees that it's important to understand how health benefit changes may impact them and their dependents. We explain that it's important for them to review their health plan statement in their MyCalPERS account and review their plan, their cost, and their network before making changes. We also provide several resources with quick links for active members to support their research efforts in comparing coverage, services, and costs as they shop health plans. An important resource is the Open Enrollment Newsletter. This provides an overview of 2024 health plan changes and guides members on where to access open enrollment information. We have also linked the Online Health Enrollments for Active Members webpage, this provides information to employees on how to make health enrollment changes through their MyCalPERS account with their employer's approval. Next, we provide important reminders and guidance on making changes during open enrollment. We share what members can do during open enrollment. We direct employees to make open enrollment changes online through their MyCalPERS with your approval. We remind members that if they are not making changes to their coverage, no action is needed. We have several health enrollment reminders for employees here. We remind them not to use their previous plan after December 31st, 2023, and that they will receive their new ID cards from their new health plan if they have made a change. And we remind employers to review their January warrants to ensure the correct health plan premium deductions were applied if they made changes during open enrollment. And lastly, we have the same quick tip videos from the Open Enrollment Employers webpage link for members to watch when shopping for a plan that's right for them. Now back to the top of the page. I wanted to point out one of the resources I mentioned earlier, your guide to choosing a health plan. It was designed to be used as a checklist for members to help them when choosing a new plan. It lists all the various factors to consider like costs, available doctors, and covered benefits. It also guides them towards resources to help them learn more about these factors. Here, you'll also find links to the health benefit summary and other publications that may be helpful to your employees. So that wraps up the website walkthrough. Hopefully now you have a better understanding of information available and where to find it.